Right now, nearly 50 asylum seekers are waiting out this bitter cold at the Herald Washington Library. Others were moved to O'Hare, or they've been sent to police stations, or to one of the 28 migrant shelters across the city. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza spoke to some of those asylum seekers about how they're dealing with the kind of cold many have never experienced. Hundreds of asylum seekers are staying at this shelter here on Halstead, and now dozens of them are braving the cold, some of them in crocs, some in flip flops, just so they can get a warm meal. From sunny South America to the icy coast of Lake Michigan, the cold in Chicago is something many asylum seekers have never experienced. Me arrepiento por el frío, pero me da felicidad por Geraldine, who didn't give us her last name, says she regrets that she's here, but only because of the cold. She's still otherwise happy with her decision to come to Chicago. Ya no tenía ni para comer. Adding that they left Venezuela because they didn't have enough money to eat there. Now she and her family brave what feels like sub-zero temperatures to find these volunteers serving food across from the Halstead shelter. Uh, we brought food, uh, protective equipment for them, clothing. Braisha Adams is the co-founder of Something Good in Englewood. Um, a lot of them actually have been coming to our headquarters. They travel all the way to Englewood asking for food, shelter, jobs even. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., she and her team set up to serve food and distribute warm clothing to migrants. It's freezing in Chicago. They need the clothing. Um, I don't know if you see, if you even look in the line now, some have on leggings, no coats. Hielo me está matando el frío. Like Geraldine, who eagerly awaits the opportunity to get a job to support her daughter and the rest of her family. Right now, the city of Chicago reports that there are no migrants staying at the landing zone inside warming buses. Everybody has been moved to a brick and mortar location. They also say they do not expect any buses to arrive in the city today. We're in Pilsen, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.